part 32, we are going to look at mixed examples of a ratio. Before we're going to do some of these examples in this exercise, we're first going to go back to the beginning of a ratio. Okay, can you remember there's four type of sums that they can ask you in ratio? They can ask you to simplify, they can ask you a division into a given ratio, then they will give you the total and you div will divide it into a given ratio. Or they can ask you to increase or decrease in a given ratio, so we call this method three. Okay, this is number one sums, number two division, three increase, decrease, and four. They will not give you the total. They will ask you one of the outcomes. So find an unknown quantity if a ratio is given. So they will give you one of the outcomes and you must find the other outcome. So remember, simplify one, two division, three increase, decrease, and four. Find an unknown quantity if a ratio is given. Okay, let's go back to the exercise. Okay, I want you to do the following. I want you to do number one, number two, A and B, number three, A, as well as number six, A. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, before we're going to start doing it, we're first going to classify it in the four groups. So let's start with the first one. The value of a car costing 88,000 decrease, there's the key word, in the ratio 4 to 5. Calculate the new value of the car. Can you remember increase, decrease? That was method 3. In a chocolate, the ratio of mass of cocoa, milk, and other ingredients is 3 to 2 to 5. What fraction of the chocolate is cocoa? The mass of the chocolate is 28 grams. Calculate the mass of milk. So this is definitely that division into a given ratio, and that was number two. Then the distance from Earth to the sun is 1.5 times 10 to the power 8 kilometers. The distance from Pluto to the sun is 6 times 10 to the power 9. Find the ratio of the shortest distance to the longer. So give your answer in the simplest form. They just want me to simplify that ratio. Can you remember? That was method one. And then the last one, a sum of money is divided in the ratio of 4 to 3. The larger part is 720. Not the total, the larger part. Find the smaller part. That was number 4, where I give you one of the outcomes and you must find the other outcome. Okay, now let's start. It's exercise. Okay. Let's start with number one. Now, if I look at number one, they say decrease in the ratio four to five. Can you remember decrease? I, okay, let's first write down the ratio. It's four to five. But then I take the smaller one over the larger one because it's decrease, and I multiply it with the 88,000. And if I multiply that, I will get 70,400. So I can end with a sentence saying the new value of the car will be 70400 point. Okay, let's look at number two. Let's start with 2a. In a chocolate, the ratio of mass of cocoa, milk, and other ingredients is 3 to 2 to 5. Let's write it down. 3 to 2 to 5. Now, as they name it, the first one is cocoa, so then 3 is cocoa. The second one, milk, then this is milk. Then other ingredients, then this is O. Okay. What fraction of the chocolate is cocoa? So if I look at first, I must add it. So it's 3 to plus 2 plus 5, and that will give me 10. So if I must say what is the fraction of coal, coal, then it will be that first one over 10. Just that. They just want the fraction. And now in number B, 
They say the mass of the total chocolate is 28. Calculate the mass of milk. Now, what was milk? Two. It was a fraction two out of ten. And I times it with that 28. And that's giving me an answer 5.6 gram. So we can end again by saying the mass of milk in the chocolate is 5.6 gram. Something like that. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to make space and then we are going to continue with the next one. Okay, let's look at number three. Now, the distance from Earth to the Sun is this. The distance from Pluto to the Sun. Find the ratio of the shorter distance to the longer distance. So the shorter one will be the 1 to the power 8. That's the longer one to the power of 9. So we can make it a heading and say shorter distance to longer distance. Okay, so the shorter distance is that 1.5 times 10 to the power of 8. Okay, I'm just going to move a little bit to this side. And this one is 6.0 times 10 to the power of 9. Okay, now I think it's best if we write it in decimal notation so that we can see. So if we write it in decimal notation, I'm just going to show you now. Um, I'm first just going to write it down and then show you. So it's standing there. Then it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And if I do this one, I will show you also now. So it's 9. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now it's easier to cancel. So I can basically cancel, divide by a million. And if I divide by a million... How many zeros will that be? Six. Two, three, four, five, six. So then I'm ending. I'm just right the in-between value. And it's six. And now I can divide by 150. Divide 150. And the final answer will be 1, 2, 40. Now that is the shorter to the longer distance. And then we're going to end off this session by doing... 6a, the sum of money is divided in the ratio 4 to 3. The larger part, okay, so it's 4 to 3. Now, this is the larger because it's bigger. So, the small, and this is the smaller. So, the larger part is 720. So, I must go and look with what did I multiply 4 to go to that 720. But do the reverse. Say 720 divided by 4. And then you will get 1.8. So 4 times 1.8 will give you 720. So if I multiply this side with 1.8, I also multiply this side with 1.8. And then this will be 5.4. And I can end with a sentence, say, uh, the smaller part is, and now I can put in the unit, $5.4. Okay, and that's how you approach ratio sums.